I am Darius the Sugarless This is your sugar free destination of YouTube and I'm back for part two. Now part two is going to be a little different. What Today what we're going to do is we're going to keep each prog line together. We're not going to necessarily speed through it but it's going to be a little faster than it was last time. And then at the end we're going to do a best of the best. I'm going to see what she considers the best of what she's tried here and I'm going to give you the top five. Well she's going to do five too but I'm going to give you the top five of keto con that I had that even I don't have right now. So Renee is back, thankfully. Like I said, I, I, she almost didn't make it. Surprisingly, like it, these schedules these days. So it is what it is. She's back for now and let's go ahead and dive into it. What are we gonna try first? All right, so we got F-bomb nut butter. It's simply dry roasted macadamia nuts, raw organic coconut, and sea salt. That's all it is? You're not gonna need it? You didn't follow the directions. Oh, I didn't need it. I, I mean, I've been needing this thing for a minute, like... <laughs> we're gonna see if I need it, because it's... Oh. Yeah, I didn't need it like I was supposed to. Yeah, I didn't need it like I was supposed to. It's not supposed to be as loose. Ooh. It's the coconut. <laughs> you can taste the coconut in it? I don't like the coconut in it. It does. I can't, I can't taste the coconut butter, but I... I it's so thick. No. No. The coconut ruins it for uh. me. All right, we're going to the next one. She didn't like the coconut. She didn't like the F-bomb. But I personally thought it was good. I like coconut and I like macadamia nuts. There's somewhat, they're like the balance is off a little bit. Like I'm not, I get, you get a bit more coconut yeah. than macadamia. Mm -hmm. But if you've ever had macadamia nut butter, which I spoke on before, it's incredible, but it's very, very expensive. So I'm sure there's more, co more coconut than macadamia nut butter. Jane was there and they had three new bars, toasted coconut, Saigon cinnamon chocolate, and cardamom chai. Saigon cinnamon, almonds, chicory root fiber, chocolate, sunflower seeds, pea protein, pea protein crisp, cocoa butter, coconut, natural flavor, Saigon cinnamon, chia seed, sea salt, sunflower lectin, vitamin E. Toasted coconut. Yeah, it's pretty much the same ingredients. Um, except it has toasted coconut in it. Mm -hmm. and everything else is the same. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have the cinnamon and stuff. Cardamom chai. Same, same ingredients except chai spices and it has black tea in it. Mm -hmm. So Saigon cinnamon first. Pretty good. It seems a little bland to me. I mean, it's not nasty. I would buy, I would buy it like if I was at Whole Foods, because that's why I've seen them at, I would just pick it up and keep going mm -hmm. and eat it like Eat it in the car while I'm driving home. Mm -hmm. This one is the cardamom and chai. That one has it more flavor. It definitely tastes like chai tea. Okay, so I don't know if you guys ever had Doka bars before, but they're they're crunchy. All right, so vanilla almond first. Okay. Mm. That's surprisingly really good. Oh, that's what I taste. Okay, mm -hmm. cocoa almond. You get a lot of chocolate. I was gonna say, I don't get any chocolate. Yeah, I don't get too much chocolate out of that. I was waiting for it. <laughs> it's not bad though. It just like, doesn't really taste like anything. I would, I would buy these, I would buy these over Dane bars so far. Mm-hmm. I would definitely mm -hmm. buy these over Dane bars. And this is the peanut butter chocolate chip. Which one you like the best? You know, you know how I feel about chocolate. That one's good. And it hasn't released yet, because I was trying to buy it, but Stoker has a marshmallow for keto. And when I tell you that stuff is like mm. the truth, oh my God, yeah. It's, it's, it's like a marshmallow paste or something. Mm -hmm. But they haven't released it yet. It's coming out soon, but when it comes out, like, whoop. All right, so we got Grapal. We got Snickerdoodle, peanut butter cup, peanut butter and jelly, thumbprint, and Rosie's, Rosie's apple, pie. apple pie. I'm, I'm excited for Rosie's apple pie. Like, you gotta try it. I want the peach. Shout out to Rosie. All right, so we're gonna do the peanut butter and jelly. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I don't get peanut butter and jelly vibes from it. What do you get from it? I don't quite know. No. Do you get the peanut butter? Not really. No, really. It's just you just don't know what you're feeling. Yeah, it's just. Mm, mm -mm. I don't get peanut butter and jelly. I definitely don't. So they're like little jelly bits in here, but the only thing is they're Maybe like I didn't get any. they're like scattered around. Maybe I didn't get any. There, there, there are only but so many in the um thing. So I guess it's fair. I, I can get that. It has coconut in it. I know. I didn't tell you because I know you're gonna be like, oh my god, I don't like the coconut. <laughs> like, so you set me up. <laughs> yeah. I don't get snickerdoodle. <laughs> you don't get the cinnamon? No, no. 
Grapau is just missing it. Dang. And you like the other one? According to me, I mean. All right, we're going to go to Rosie's apple pie. That tastes like apple pie. I get that. Flavors it, are very strong. As far as Grapau wise, my favorite three flavors are easily the salt and caramel, Rosie's apple pie, and this peanut butter cup. That's probably my favorite one. So out of all the ones you had, even the Amarillo, you think this one tastes best? Mm -hmm. So peanut butter cup is my, one of my favorites, and she says it's one of hers. Too. So we have high key chocolate chip cookies, and we have high key nut butter. So it's chocolate and MCT, yeah, chocolate plus MCT damia. This nut butter is macadamias, peanut, pecans, hazelnuts, and I think that's why I like it so much because the hazel, hazelnuts. Chocolate, chia seed, erythritol, stevia, MCT oil, sea salt, and pumpkin seeds. See, that one's a little thicker. Mm -hmm. Cause you needed it like you were supposed to. Yeah, that, that helped. It really did. Don't you get like Nutella vibes to it? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna say that it's really good. It it, it, it gives you like Nutella vibes. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. Like I said, yo, high key I'm gonna put some people out of business, yo. I'm telling you, like, come out on. Out of all them. the ones we had. This is the best mm -hmm. one. Yeah, come on with those cookies and then the nut butter, like dang. They not playing over there. I'm getting nervous as they start making cakes. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, <laughs> If they start making cakes, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Like, dang. <sighs> the chocolate chip, almond flour, natural sweetener, which is erythritol monk fruit extract, stevia extract, chocolate chips, unsweetened, of course, coconut oil, butter, prebiotic fiber, dry eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder, collagen, sea salt, xanthan gum, and gargoyle. So, what do you think? They're very good. Better than the Snickerdoodle ones. You think they're better than the Snickerdoodle? Mm -hmm. Girl, you cap. <laughs> I thought it was my opinion, <laughs> not his. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. They okay, they are good. I'm not saying they're not good, but better than the Snickerdoodle. My opinion. There you yeah. Go. All right. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, these are the only chocolate chip cookies I'll buy now. I said I did buy fat That's snacks good. and stuff, but speaking of fat snacks. Is this one fat snacks too? No. So it's this one is unmarked because they were giving these out for samples, but this is this keto. This keto, they are really, really sweet people. I don't know, I don't know about the guy, but the lady was definitely sweet. And maybe she wasn't sweet, maybe it was just her accent, and I was just like, oh wow, okay, yeah, that, that sounds wonderful. Like, that sounds right. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. You know, you oh my god, you have, I was like, you have a wonderful, you have a wonderful product here. Oh, what, what are you selling again? Okay, yeah, anyway. I don't know, it sounded like she was like, I think she was from Australia or Russia or somewhere. She was really nice, like, so we'll, we'll do chocolate chips before we do the double chocolate. <laughs> it doesn't take much for you to forget what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> so this is very like fat snack consistency. Yeah, that's why I said it looks like it. It tastes very similar, but it's a little drier. Mm -hmm. It's okay. But what I was hoping was I could get the lemon cookie from Bisquito. Cause the lemon cookie from Bisquito tastes better than the fat snack lemon cookie to me. But fat snacks wins when it comes to chocolate chip cookie. It's all right. Yeah, so if you want a lemon cookie, I would definitely go to Bisquito before you go to fat snacks. But when it comes to chocolate chip or snickerdoodle, you know where to go. And you get 10% off at Sugarless Crystals. I mean, with Sugarless Crystals, discount code. Yeah, and these are not affiliate codes. I think, okay, so it's an affiliate with Grapel, but all my codes aren't affiliates. Like, strictly, like, when I go out and when I reach out to these companies and stuff, I just genuinely ask for discount codes because I just want you guys to save for following me because these things are so expensive, like, so the fact that you follow me and I can give you discounts, like, it means everything. I mean, I make my money off, look, okay, so if I put a recipe out, just go to the website. That's good enough for me. Matter of fact, go to the website, click off, and then go back again. <laughs> Each visit I get paid, so I'm not worried about, you know, saying that. Now, extra extra money helps, of course, but if you just visit the website, that's more than enough incentive that I get. So we got Fat Snacks New Flavor Double Chocolate Chip. Okay, we have almond flour, butter, chocolate chips, eggs, sustainable organic palm fruit oil, non-GMO erythritol, coconut flour, natural vanilla flour, flavor, mm. Non-GMO xylitol, cocoa, xanthan gum, baking powder, baking soda, stevia, and kosher salt. That's a bit much, but I mean, none of the ingredients are bad. But you know, it's just like, dang. What was that oil that they had in there? Palm oil. Palm oil. I taste something other than chocolate, but I don't know what it is. It seems like it's a hair chocolate. Like it's not. It's very faint, right? Yeah, I thought it'd be chocolate flavor. But it's something else that's coming through, and I just don't know what it is. 
Perfect Keto Nut Butter. Now, I do have a discount code. I think it's, I think Keto, not, uh, Perfect Keto is 20% off. I will definitely link that below. Perfect Keto, I do use the exogenous ketones, not for what people try to advertise them for, but they're like, okay, so exogenous ketones, what I use them for, like if I don't eat right properly, like the day before, I'll tend to get a headache the, the day after. So, you know, popping, just drinking some exotic, um, exogenous ketones, like it will take the headache away. Why? It's like a huge boost of electrolytes. Your sodium, your potassium, and your magnesium. And so, um, like starting keto and stuff like that, if you like have like the keto flu and things like that, something like that would definitely help. But what people try to use them for is if you have like a cheat meal or whatever, right. and you take the exogenous ketones, pretty much your body's like in sync, like using the ketones and glucose so that when glucose is gone, your body snaps you right back into ketosis. Mm. It looks like poppy seed or something, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, you ready? Or cinnamon. That was good. I don't, I don't care for this one. No? It tastes a little funny to me. Oh, I got the aftertaste now. Maybe you should, mm -hmm. also maybe you should try more. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, this is a, it's, it's a little. It's like a aftertaste. Now, the exogenous ketones, they came out with a new um, formula and like it tastes better and it mixes, it mixes way better than it used to. And I got the peach flavor. Mm -hmm. That 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 was pretty straight. Like it's, I mean. I wonder what that aftertaste is. What's in it? What's in it? Oh, I didn't read the ingredients. Oh, ingredients: raw macadamia nuts. Well, at least it's raw stuff. So I mean, the ingredients are great. So raw macadamia nuts, raw cashews, raw cocoa coconut butter, MCTs, vanilla bean powder, and sea salt. That's what those specs were. It wasn't poppy seed. It was a vanilla bean powder. Because mm. at first, when you taste it, you get the macadamia nut, the yeah. nuttiness of it, and then it's this aftertaste. It may be the cashews. It doesn't taste like cashews. Maybe because they're raw? I don't know. I think because they they're butter. Taste. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Have you ever had cashew butter? I think the, mac the macadamia nuts and the cashews mixing aren't working too well. Mm. Yeah, but I don't really care for that. That aftertaste lingers for a while. Yeah, it's still sitting there. Yeah. It almost tastes like somebody threw up in your mouth. That's exactly what I did. No, I didn't want to say it on camera. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, like somebody threw up in I'm your glad mouth. He like... said it, <laughs> That's exactly what it tastes like. They're going to kick me off the affiliates after this. They're going to be like, oh, oh, really? Oh, okay. But That's I mean, exactly what it tastes like. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I. I was like, look, man, I don't support the nut butter, but the exogenous that. ketones, like, so Fox Hill Kitchens was there, like, okay, so I don't know if you remember my old keto box video, like, you had to follow me for a long time to see that, but I, in a keto box, or keto deliver box, mm -hmm. I had some of these, and like, they, they're crispy, like, it's, it's amazing what they taste like. So the ingredients, organic coconut flour, blanched almond flour, psyllium husk powder, liquid egg whites, olive oil, avocado oil, baking powder, water, Himalayan salt, garlic granules, yeast, apple cider vinegar, and black pepper. It's like a regular crouton to me. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. I know. I didn't even, Those um, are good. Those are really good. And I didn't even, um, I didn't bother. They had something else there, but I never got it because I went and buy it and I saw them and I was like, hey, I just want to let you guys know your product is amazing, okay? I've had them before. And she was like, oh God, take some croutons. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that um, I really like Fox Hill. Like, I'm not a salad person, but if I was and I started keto, you know I'm what I'm saying? And, and, yeah, and you know what I'm saying? Cause you would miss croutons, but these are definitely take you there. Yeah, those are good. All right, so we got Nush again. Banana mm. nut cake. Yeah, they say the banana nut cake was supposed to be the best one. Okay, we'll see. So, water, flax, organic erythritol, coconut oil, egg, walnuts, glycerin, banana, natural flavors, leavening, which is sodium, baking powder, baking soda, sunflower lectin, sea salt, rosemary extract, and monk fruit extract. And this, like I said, it smells great. Can you smell it? I mean, you get the like the banana, you get the banana nut bread scent. It's all right. I think it's better than the what was it, the mango one we had? Yeah, this one works a lot more. Mm -hmm. This one works a lot more. This one, if I saw it sitting in Whole Foods, I would probably buy this one. Sounds all right. Yeah, I would probably buy this one right here. So next, you got your one. We got the drugs back in here. 
This is Keto Brick Cinnamon Crunch Keto Brick. All right, ingredients, raw cacao butter, plant-based protein powder, organic sacha inchi, pure sea salt, digest all, a vegan, which is a vegan enzyme blend, monk fruit extract, MCT powder, golden flaxseed meal, raw fermented cacao nibs, and Himalayan, sea, Himalayan salt. You know the Himalayan salt is in a lot of things. We've yeah. Tested or tried. You like you can tell the difference between this one and the other one. I mean the brick itself, I think the only difference is what the chocolate in it. Right? It tastes sort of the same. It's supposed to be cinnamon and the other one was cookies and cream. Hmm. Yeah. This is cinnamon crunch. I don't get did it even have cinnamon in here? I don't taste cinnamon. I taste the brick and the chocolate. Okay, so the protein powder has cinnamon in it. This one almost has a little bit, well, I guess because of the cacao in it, it almost tastes a little bit um, coffee, a little bit. Hmm. You get coffee vibes a little? Yeah. But you like the, the chocolate other? in there is a nice touch, though. I think if the chocolate yeah. wasn't in it, I wouldn't eat it. It adds like ash texture. Yeah. That is all of the keto products from KetoCon that I brought back home. Renee, what are your top five of everything that you've tasted so far? between today and last week's video. The snickerdoodle. Okay, high key snacks. Yes, the- Discount code. The Amaretto um, Grappel. Okay, Grappel. What was it, the peanut butter one that we just had? Oh, Grappel peanut butter? Yeah, that okay. one. I think that was it, like out of- Oh, so you can't oh. come up with five? I can't think of any other that stood out. Well, the, 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 oh, the cheese, the, the- The Keto Farms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really like that, the Keto Farms. And the chocolate bars with the pumpkin seeds and the- Oh, okay, the hazelnut, okay, the and hazelnut the Kiss My Keto yeah. hazelnut um, chocolate good. bar. Mm -hmm. So, my top five are gonna include some of the ones here and the ones at Keto Kind that I couldn't bring with me, that I couldn't have. So, first of all, Stoker's Marshmallow Fluff. I don't have that here, but it's coming, and when it comes, Jesus Christ, okay? <laughs> That's, it's going Man, they they really got some with it. They really got some with that mess. Oh man, it tastes like marshmallows. And because I've been keto for a while, like it was really really super sweet. But somebody coming off of keto, like they're gonna be like, oh my god, like it's 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 gonna be the perfect sweetness for them. Secondly, I would I would have to say, oh, raise the valley. She has like flatbread and pizza crust, and they're not they're not cauliflower or anything like that. Like they're um. She makes them, they're like flax and some other stuff like that. I actually ordered some, but they, they didn't get here in time. But her definitely, like, um, Razor Valley stuff. Cause you can toast it and it'll get crispy. Like it, it works really, really well. Hmm. Um, the flatbread bin, so you can make a little taco out of it. The Keto and Company brownie. Yeah, that I didn't. Yeah, you didn't, yeah. Okay, so I didn't name three of you guys <laughs> that I didn't show here. You had to be a Keto Con to get. But if you were a Keto Con, you already know what I'm talking about. Like, so the Keto and Company brownie mix. High key snacks. Every, um, the cookies, both the cookies mm -hmm. and the nut butter. So, I mean, that's my number four. Cause they really, they really knocked my sauce off, socks off with that. I did not see them coming. Like, I had never had high key snacks before, and I knew what they were. But when I got there and I tried it, I was like, "What I've been doing in my life?" Yeah, those cookies were amazing. And number five, so they had an olive oil um, vendor there, and it was like, like authentic olive oil. It was definitely on the expensive side. It came out to about thirty nine dollars a bottle. And every quarter you pay $130, $139, I think, something like that. And they ship you three bottles a quarter. Or every month, I think. No. Something, something like that. Anyway, they're getting my money, okay? <laughs> because, I, I mean, it like the, the body, the flavor to it. Like, they have a light, a medium, and a heavy or rich. I don't know if you want to call it. But you can tell the difference of how the olives are in each of them. Mm. I was like, wow. And all five of these things are five things that got my money. <laughs> I didn't buy every last one of them or um, I haven't had a chance to buy them because like I said, the marshmallow fluff, I was trying to buy it and she was like, no, they're just for display. Where I was like, take my money. I'm trying to give you my money. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was like, no, I just, I can't do it. You know, but nice people over there at Stoker, they were cool. The very last question though, the most important question, Renee, what do you think about the keto diet? Is it something that you can do now? So far, it's fun. I mean, everything's good. Right. 
And well, I mean, this this is not like the traditional it's, diet you're used to. It's something you have to be dedicated to for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's doable. Yeah. Long term or just just until you like lose weight or something. Like short, well, long term or short term. I guess well, I would have to try it out to see if it works for me, but I would definitely try it. Yes. All right, so we see how it goes. So I might have brought somebody else on. And you know these coupon codes, right? Yes. All right, we go. We go. We've heard that how many times? <laughs> we got the, I, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have all the coupon codes in the link below. So the coupon codes help you guys, and then the coupon codes also help me because if the companies see that people use coupon codes. They're like, oh, okay, well, Darius, he definitely has some type of influence. And they'll help push my brand as well. So, like I said, I don't get paid for the majority of them. That's not what it's about. It's about helping you guys out. But helping you also helps me as well. So, coupon codes, get you, get you some money off, and make a good name. Be like, hey, Darius over at Sugarless Crystals sent me. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. I think I'm going to have to drop a recipe for them two weeks actually three weeks three weeks because one week i didn't have a video and then the next week and the week after i did a review video i think i think it's time to drop a recipe yeah i think i'm about to drop that skillet cookie on you <laughs> <laughs> all right bye